overcharging for goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan Cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Don't count on the Batarians. Karshan is lost. The Alliance is spearheading this war. I agree it's quite impressive, but I wouldn't venture into the soul system. Call me when you have the information. No. I'll send you a different number. This connection isn't absolutely secure. We switch from financial BI to military gear. We'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Paladin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. I've seen Paladin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial BIs while my home will burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the BIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial BI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the BI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeted computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. The Alliance military has abandoned Thinking of going? To Sanctuary. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, Calvin. Somebody's making money off people's feet. Wish I'd thought of it myself. You don't think sanctuary is real? Real prefab shelters and cheap nutrient paste, baby. The profit margin must be higher than a Hanar's water bill. How can you think about profits at a time like this? What's your name, dear? Um, Sarah? Sarah, have you ever heard of Elkos Combine? Sure. Don't they make, um, everything? Rup Elkos. Pleasure to meet you. So, you're making money off this war. Are you kidding? Elkos Combine sells weapons, armor, and funeral services. If you can arm them and bury them, you never have to fly coach. Isn't that a saying? I don't think so. Well, it should be. Right now, the Turians and the Alliance are fighting for you. I'll send the Alliance a card. As for the Turians, well, I pay my taxes. That's disgusting. No, disgusting would be the tax rates for doing business on Thessia. Like I told Councillor Dina, if I wanted to get screwed by the Asari, 
I would have returned Benezia's calls. <laughs> you know, Sarah, while you worry about the war, I'm making plans for what comes after it. When our muscular allies wipe out the Reapers, idiots who paid through the Cloaca to get to Sanctuary will have nothing. I, however, will be rolling in credits and future ex-wives. Well, if you say so, maybe I... maybe I won't go to Sanctuary. Now you get it. Trust me, Sarah. You'll thank me later. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything, but this... Every time that Asari Commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. That's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Man, you look horrible. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. One of the universities is supposed to send in more residents to help with all the new refugees. Yeah, they've been promising a... Well, we're luckier than most other hospitals. At least our budget cuts are minimal. Shit, don't remind me. My old job had the emergency ward night staff cut to half before I left. Oh, let me guess. You don't process as many patients as the day shift. I've got the numbers to prove it. A typical administrator who has no clue what's going on in the ward. Yeah, so I'm thinking about volunteering for a double shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Well, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well at least make myself useful, right? That... Damn, I'm tired if that argument makes sense. Maybe I should volunteer too. We won't be the only ones. You talked to the others, didn't you? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, but I saved the best for last. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake and Dave here. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. We will. And thank you. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, store credits, or any attacks. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book for my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. Look, he is not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get sober with it. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes, congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, 
Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Commander Shepard, I don't believe I've ever had the pleasure. Barlavon, financial advisor. We have a mutual acquaintance in Admiral Anderson. I wasn't surprised he demanded to remain on the ferocious battle on your home world. We need more people like Anderson if we're gonna win this. Agreed. That's where I can help you. A sizable mercenary group is offering their services to anyone who can rescue them from Reaper-controlled territory. Evacuate them, and they'll join your army. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. I have plans to return to a room, but business here keeps luring me back. Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. Take the time to admire how well they repaired the Citadel after Sovereign attacked. The Presidium's reconstruction cost was astronomical, but worth every credit. I can get by on very little sleep. My office will be open when you return. Hello again, Commander. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. I have spoken with many Batarian refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Excuse me, Shepard. I am looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open, but your request is important to me. Please hold. Is it time to return to the Normandy? 
I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency.